good morning guys so this is going to be a follow-up video on the talk pro app as you can see i had it installed on my phone as well as this upgraded android head unit and as you can see i have my gauges selected but today we're going to focus on the fault codes and as you can see i have an engine light all-wheel drive system malfunction two-wheel drive mode engaged so we're gonna go ahead and figure out what's wrong with this. All right, so we're gonna go to uh, the home screen. We're gonna select Ford code, and then we're gonna go ahead and tap on scan. And as you can see, this is what the Ford code is. It's a P0128 related to the powertrain system. And it's the coolant thermostat cooling temperature below thermostat regulating temperature so I'm gonna have to replace the thermostat uh, I think it's not too difficult on this car so I already know what this is and as you can see we can go ahead and look it up from the web all right so we can go to the options and as you can see we can clear the fault code we can refresh read the freeze frame load fault log we can save the log, share it, or search in the database. Let's go ahead and clear it. It's gonna clear. All right, as you can see, it's gone. Erase the code, and now I don't have no more codes. Obviously the problem is not solved, we still have to take care of it. All right, so let's go get some parts to get this problem fixed. And by the way, you can also do the same thing on the smartphone. You just have to connect the OBD2 module to the OBD2 port on the car. And then you can go ahead and launch the Torque Pro app on the smartphone. So we go to the home screen, select Ford codes. It works exactly like on the car's head unit we just did. Alright, so I just picked up a brand new thermostat along with uh, O ring. So let's get started. So here is the thermostat housing. I've seen tutorials online where people remove the timing belt, they remove the alternator out the way so they can get to the thermostat housing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to get through the thermostat housing without removing the alternator and see if that's gonna work I think I can get through here with my right angle wrench I also picked up some coolant here is the replacement part Alright, after struggling for a little bit, I was able to remove the two nuts. Now I can crack the thermostat housing open. Now we can go ahead and remove the housing, as you can see, and we can go ahead and wiggle the thermostat out and if you look closely to the thermostat you will see a pin for venting and the pin is facing up so you want to make sure if you want to put the new thermostat in you orient it the same direction there's no coolant coming out and just like this the old thermostat is out as you can see we have a piece of metal blocking the thermostat open I have no idea what this is so if you have any clue what this is please let me know in the comment section I've never seen this before I'm pretty sure that if I remove this block, the problem will be solved. 
Let's compare it with the new thermostat. I'm just gonna remove the block and put this back in because I'm just feeling like this is a way better quality thermostat than the one I bought. So I'm just gonna reuse this. As you can see, it's brand new. No problems with it except for a block, keeping it open, which I'm gonna go ahead and remove. As you can see, the block is out. This looks like it is put there purposefully. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. So the thermostat is in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the housing back on. Like this. And I will put the screws in. So as you saw, we didn't have to replace the thermostat. The original thermostat was uh, in good shape. All right, so the thermostat is in. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some coolant. See that the level is already gone down, so I'm gonna add more. You can see the level dropping in real time. Got a gauge so we can keep an eye on the temperatures. All right, we're gonna wait until it reaches optimal temperature and we're gonna top it off again. We're also gonna keep an eye on the thermostat housing and uh, monitor it for lifts. We are good. Alright. Uh, no legs. Alright, we are at 181 going up. We're gonna turn on the AC. Let it blast. We're waiting for it to reach 203 degrees. That's gonna turn on the fans to cool it back down to 190. 201. 203. All right, it's gonna turn on the fans. All right, I 
as you can see, the fans kicked in, meaning that the thermostat is open. This is going to let the coolant flow through and cool the engine back down. As you can see, the fans are stopping again. All right, the fans stop. So the temperature must be down to 190 or so. All right, as you can see, back to 196 and going back up. So the same thing is going to happen again when it reaches 203 degrees and it's going to open it again. So yeah, everything seems to be working. We are in business. So as you saw, this is how you use the Talk Pro app to diagnose and uh, fix issues uh, in the car. Hopefully this was useful to somebody. If it was helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video. All right, so after fixing the thermostat issue, I ran the scan one more time after driving for days. And as you can see, we no longer have uh, the ECM issues. All right, now we have a green check mark. And the only thing left is the AC, as you can see. Let's diagnose that. All right, let's read it. All right, as you can see, 1442 servo motor.